Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV SHOT Show 2022. We are not on the SHOT Show floor. No. We are in the Black Collar Arms penthouse suite. I'm hanging out with my boy Jeremy. Many people say that this guy is all hat, all cattle. So, many, many yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of animal husbandry, the pork sword. Hmm. You guys are known for a gun called the pork sword. What is the pork sword? Right, that was a nice transition. <laughs> hey, look, I get paid the big bucks to do this, right? Yes. Um, the pork sword was a, is a chassis. So we, that started out with our idea of making the most minimalist, lightest possible chassis for a Remington 700 action um, and making it modular as well. So the forward part and the rear part, stocks, braces, the forward part being handguards or whatever, um, separate and making it modular and letting people build a chassis system however they wanted. Uh, so it's 300 bucks for the pork sword chassis. It's 13 ounces and uh, all aluminum made in Texas and, and go from there. And then it became uh, a pistol. We make complete pork sword pistols and, and pork sword rifles soon as well. And to oversimplify that, essentially what you guys are doing, are, you're making a very small, very light bolt action rifle. Uh, yeah. More yeah. or less. More. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, and, and now we have a new addition. This is the Masters in Business Administration. We're calling this the MBA, which which doesn't stand for that, but it's a it's modern bolt action. Basically, this is our vision of what a bolt action firearm should be and could be and should be for the future. We're going to do pistols as well. We knew we wanted to do a straight bull because it's super fast and efficient, and we wanted to make it extremely modular, like the chassis as well. So. AR-15 triggers was like the number one thing. As far as we knew, no one had done a bolt gun with an AR-15 trigger compatibility. Walk me, I guess, from back to front. Or front okay. to back. It's up to you. You know, however, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Well, that's good because I'm going to start right in the center. Uh, the lower receiver and the upper receiver are parts that we make proprietary from the ground up, as well as the bolt carrier and all the mechanisms that lock the carrier into the receiver. So unlike um, any other straight pull, as far as we know, and most regular turn bolt, bolt action guns, we have a bunch of extra leverage for primary extraction, which is where you pop that case out of the chamber. So when this handle rocks backwards, the prototype doesn't have it. We weren't ready to show this off. Our, our test mules for that stuff are, are super ugly, but the bolt handle rocks backwards and it pries that case out of the chamber. Their action comes straight back straight forward, and then it locks back into the receiver and it locks into battery. So all of that stuff is, is unique to us. And then the rest of it, we wanted to use existing proven components that, that you can get readily from a bunch of manufacturers. So AR-10 barrels, no gas port, obviously, because it's a manual action, but a lot of barrel manufacturers will make that for you. Or you can take a gas block, turn it sideways and block that gas port. AR-10 handguards, AR-15 grips, triggers, AR-10 magazines, AR-15 magazine releases, safeties, all of that good stuff. And you see, I think your overconfidence ended up hurting you in the end because we didn't get all the way to the very back of the gun, did we? We did not. Um, there's going to be a couple of different options for back here as well. This is our stock option, uh, and it is a folding shoulder stock with adjustable cheek rest and all that. So we've got a very compact package. This guy with the stock is under six pounds, a really lightweight, modern, uh, hunting, tactical, whatever you want kind of a rifle. Um, one thing that's a little different from your like ARs, the Picatinny rail up here for your optics is removable. So if you're running a DPMS high handguard or a DPMS low, you can get an optic rail for that so it matches. And we'll also do some like direct mount rings and that kind of stuff. This could be, I think, in Forbes magazine because we're talking about an MBA mm -hmm. with stock options. With stock option. How much? Yeah. So yeah. how how much is this thing gonna cost? Dad joke. I know. Just edit it out. No, don't. It's actually good. Um, how much is this? What are we talking about? This sounds expensive. Uh, it is our target. No promises. Target MSRP, and we think we are there. Twenty four ninety nine. It's SHOT Show. No one makes promises here. Right. I promise so, you all the promises are invalid. <laughs> this one has a carbon fiber barrel, but we're going to do uh, spiral fluted steel barrels. They're, the kind of ideas have a, if you will, like a Camry model and a Ferrari model. So mm -hmm. uh, depending on what trigger you go with, maybe there's a fixed stock. We're going to be able to make an affordable one. And then we're going to make uh, all of the high-end stuff one as well. Okay. All right. Very yeah. cool. And release. When's this going to happen? 
we are on track to be entering production this summer. So within a couple of months, this is probably, you know, later this year. Okay, great. You guys heard it here. 90 days from now, $1,499. Uh-huh, yeah. The MBA. Yeah. No, no. The MBA. Jeremy, is there anything else that you James want to talk about? pay the difference with that <laughs> and whatever we charge. Yeah, don't try to collect it because you won't get it. You can <laughs> repossess my lawnmower. Um, what What else do uh, do we need to hit? Is there anything else that we missed? Uh, you know, I don't know. Just just the the thing about straight poles, I've, I've always loved that. It's just... So fast and efficient. Uh, the the location of this bolt knob will change a little bit. We want it to be just right there. So you come off the grip, back forward, back onto the grip without the least amount of movement. It's the most efficient possible way to run a manual action firearm. And if you've got it on a bipod and you're supporting on the rear, it doesn't upset the gun at all. It's perfectly in line with the barrel so you're not canting it over like lifting a bolt. Uh, Straight bolts have so many great advantages, and the way this locks into battery with that AR-10 style bolt head, really secure, really accurate, really safe. Uh, we're super excited for this guy. I think everybody else is too, Jeremy, and that means that means that they're going to want to know how to get one. So what is the best way to do that? Like, Do you guys have like a wait list, or are you, are you selling through distributors? Yeah, at blackcollararms.com, we do have reservations. So there's an MBA page. Since it is in development still, we're in the late phases of prototyping. We have a page on there where we're going to be providing some updates as we get closer to production. And then on there, there's a couple of links to the reservation page. And you can place a reservation. Uh, we're doing a little bit of special stuff for reservation holders. Anyone who does that before the gun is actually ready will get some uh, special parts, uh, a custom bag and those sorts of things, and a little bit of behind the scenes access and knowledge of what we're doing as it gets ready. Uh, but And also just kind of saves your place in line. So the, the first ones are going to go to those reservation holders. And we're actually gonna do a, a unique serial number range and stuff for that too. Cool. Jeremy, I am not much of a bolt action guy, but this actually does look pretty neat to me. I can see the merit in this. So thank you for coming on TFP TV and sharing it with us. I yeah. truly do appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. We're gonna be bringing you more SHOT Show 2022.